Hello everyone and welcome back to From Our Basement Gaming. Hi everybody. We are back with part four of our Spyro Year of the Dragon Let's Play. Yep, I was just going to see if we can save the game first before we try anything dangerous. Right, before we trigger a game over, potentially. Hopefully not, but I agree. Better safe than sorry. Yes. Because we've been trying to get another dragon from this place. Yes. And I wonder if this is said island. Yes, that's what we're currently speculating. Yes. And we were talking about the the bull. Yeah. Songs and yeah. children's shows. Yes, last in the last part we were talking about Lazy Town. Yep. And how their song became used. Yes. Some of the songs, not all of them. But that is definitely a show that I can enjoy as an adult. And most, with me, most little kids shows I don't, like little, like, you know, preschool kids shows, I can't enjoy as much as an adult. That That's me. Most of those shows I don't enjoy very much. They're, they're either too boring or too cheesy. Slash campy, you know. Yay! Like you're not gonna catch me watching that episode of Mickey's Funhouse. Uh huh. <laughs> um. Now, I like cartoons. I, I can enjoy you know, lots of cartoons, but usually those cartoons are like. You know, the kind they typically slap the 7 and up rating on, you know, not, not the, the uh, preschool stuff, per se. Now I haven't, now I haven't seen Bluey, I know a lot of people are enjoying Bluey, despite the, you know, initially I think that's for young kids, but it's written in a way that adults enjoy it too, like right. I have heard. Now I haven't seen that yet, so... We did Claire, it! Yay, we did it. Claire! Oh, happy Pride, Claire! <laughs> Definitely. Uh, but also, yes, happy Pride happy to you guys as well. Yes. I don't know why I didn't say it earlier in the videos, but yes, happy Pride. That reminded me. That's wonderful. We uh, completed the level. That's so nice. She yep. she might grow up to be part of our community. Um, but. Or be know. an ally, at the very least. She's oh, yeah, an yeah. ally, and we're here for that. She certainly likes rainbows. <laughs> yes. Well, a lot of kids like rainbows. That's yeah. true. Me too. But I'm going to take it as a sign that she's an ally, because I'm not. <laughs> I, I agree. We, As long as she's raised right, she will be. Yes. Save this game. But I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know how Spyro's world is with that. Yeah, I don't know. If Spyro. I don't know if right that's detail. even a consideration. At last, my yeah. portal right. is working this again. This was two thousand. Come visit all. me at right. the Tiki Lodge. All right, so we open the Tiki Lodge. Okay. So are we going to be playing as that weird-looking guy? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. I mean, okay. Should be interesting, regardless. Mm -hmm. That it is. It should be. Molten Crater. Ooh. Rhinox are running rampant around here, but I can't get anyone out of the Tiki Lodge long enough to do anything hmm. about it. Oh, okay. I guess we're not playing this. No. We are going to be, uh, doing some, uh, saving some dragons. Yep. Of course. Mm -hmm. See you, bro. <laughs> you know, there's 
just another new movie that Seth Rogen gonna be in. Oh. No, no, no. Um, I, sadly, seeing Pumbaa more often. But no, no, it's a. He's act, I, there as an actor, not a voice actor. He killed me. Which I'm like, I don't know, no offense, but I wish Seth Rogen would stick with the acting. I, yeah. I, I've never really liked him much as a voice actor, no offense. <laughs> um, to those who do. Seth, if you're watching this, uh, how come you... And no offense to you, Seth Rogen, um, if you're watching. Yes. Um, it's just not quite... Yeah. Not, it's not quite my cup of tea. Yeah. I still um, can't believe you were playing this <laughs> Um, yeah, I think before that, like, I know he was the, I don't remember the monster's name, but he was that blue gelatin monster guy in Monsters vs. Aliens. He was in Monsters vs. Aliens? That is correct. Uh, uh. I'm pretty sure he was the blue guy. No. No, he wasn't the blue guy. He was either the blue guy or he was the... He might have actually been the, the other guy whose name I don't remember. The, like the swamp monster guy. He was the swamp dude with thinning scale. Let me look. Ricky. I'm, I'm sorry, but I have to look up again because I don't want to give you guys false information. True. I and it's, that. it's been a while, so that's why I don't remember which one he was. Now, Hugh Laurie was the Dr. Cockroach. Guy. Yes, he was. A beloved, bugging British cockroach. And I'm it's still cracking up that um, I hope the guy was being sarcastic. Be sure to keep your friends. Viewer, the dragonfly healthy spider. said, oh, I can't believe he's doing low, a fake British accent little creature again. like the slug. And I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, hey, I hate to break it to you, but uh, he's British. Yeah, he is I, British. Yeah, I actually liked that he is his actual voice. His actual voice yeah. That, as I feel British horror gets underrepresented in yeah. the US. Um, I mean, yeah, they had a kaiju. Had a better thing. Yeah. In that movie as well. Oh, yeah, they do. Of course, I can tell a lot of guys had uh, feelings for that uh, 50 foot uh, one year. Oh, yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> I know her name was Susan, but what was her name? That left the car or something? Something like that. I mean, it, it got me interested enough, well, both of us interested enough, that we actually voluntarily went to Carrolltown Theaters to watch it at the movies. So he was... That, that doesn't Here, answer my question. Egg. I don't they remember the names the of the monsters. Lodge last night. How dare you assume I remember the names of the monsters. Thanks, Rocky. He's like, oh, the... He was Bob. Which one was Bob? No. 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 Okay, he was the blue uh, one-eyed guy. Okay. I see. I okay. see. All right. So I was right the first time. I just doubted myself appearing. Note: Sergeant Bird is currently on important mission inside the cage. Tough luck, the sorceress. Hmm. The sorceress. <laughs> is that that rabbit? Yeah. Thing I that. Think. Presuming she's a rabbit. Based on the fan art, we know to do that. Spyro, you're just in time. I kind of miss I saw his two egg thieves voice. run through this door. Yes. Well, actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but uh, that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for <clears throat> a small but I mean, this guy's finder's fine fee. Three hundred gems. Okay. Thank you, Spyro. Yeah. And Money. Mm, it's fun to doing business with you. Yes, I happily take uh, what's in your wallet to let you in to rescue uh, the things you need to rescue. 
Ah, oh, that, that was good. Hey, dude, what's up? Are you the dragon Stone. looking for all those eggs? Because I saw a shifty looking character oh, with one over there. Have to get the... Dude, don't worry. Yep. It's all coming back to me now. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure there were some fans who were actually this that this guy's back. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes, because I'm <laughs> I'm actually like, yay, something from the first game. Yeah. But to be fair, yeah. Yeah. It felt like they were distancing themselves completely from the first game of the franchise. So. Yeah. That's how I felt in the second game, so yeah. I'm glad to see some things returning from the first game. Yeah, I fully understand. Yeah. I liked that one a lot better than the first Rage. Yeah. No offense to people who love Ripto's Rage, and I liked Ripto's Rage, it just wasn't my favorite. Yeah. It had certain things that annoyed me. Yeah, the war out. It's welcome. <gasps> Yay. Moria. Moria. Moira. Moira. Uh, oh, no. it's chasing its tail. Yeah. Probably a girl. <laughs> hey, there yeah. goes another one. Yeah. There he goes was another really one. Fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to. Well, catch if you got him. a supercharge, yeah, we probably mm. could nail, nail it. Yes. Oh, ah, so the blinking lights is on. All oh, right, he's a red dude. Uh, trying not to get fall off the rails. Uh, we need guardrails on that thing. Yes, we do. Cause see, it was dangerous. We fell all the way to our death. Yes. <laughs> hey, there goes it up. We died. <laughs> Spyro, no die. How did you know? <laughs> hey, how did you know? <laughs> uh, one of my favorite YouTube videos. Yes. Despite the fact that it was a very morbid video. Uh, yeah. Okay. Come on now. Ah! This very dark season. Yeah, it did. I love those YouTube music videos. And the other ones I like are the interactive ones where they're like, choose your ending. Yeah. Those are nice. And one, well, and one I actually voted on, a recent one, and uh, my vote actually won. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so. It was kind of an inconsequential thing where like I was like no matter what choice it, I would have been mm -hmm. fine with it, but it is cool that I like it when occasionally my opinion aligns with the rest of the crowd. Because I'm yeah, so, it is nice. I'm so used to the opposite on like almost everything. So Yeah. <laughs> I don't do it on purpose. I I know you don't do it on purpose. I'm not like one of those people that are like, I'm not like the other guys. I have refined taste. No, no, yeah, no. I want to, I want to share my stuff. I want to have things in common. I feel like Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas, where I'm like, I want to. Join them in their enthusiastic crowd. Wow, Doctor Frankie yeah. Beans is. Uh... <laughs> oh wait, he was from Beetleborgs. <laughs> I'm like Frankie. Yeah, he's going to kill me when we, this October, isn't he? Yeah. 
Sorry, I compared you to a favorite scientist from a <laughs> kid's show made by some bomb. <laughs> Finkelstein, isn't that That's it, name? Finkelstein. Yeah. Sorry, ladies and gents. <laughs> well, if she had snuck out and everybody was like so enthusiastic about Christmas, but then she had that premonition. premonition and that's what she was singing about. Like, she knew it was bad news. And nobody else did. So they were all like, no, Christmas. Um, and she was charmed itself, but then the thing told the truth. Oh yeah, she she was. If she hadn't have had the premonition, yeah, she would have been excited too. And there there are people that argue that that was kind of a weakness that, you know, they should have maybe just written it without her having the premonition, like having her figure out some like other way rather than just. Um, It's some of the critics felt like it was too, like, ooh, super magical plot convenience thing, you know? I, I don't mind. I think it was perfectly fine. Oh. Yeah. Rabbits. Yeah, I think in the context of the movie itself, it was Yeah. Fine. But, I mean, I understand what people are saying, but it doesn't destroy the movie. It didn't. As a boy, I f when I first saw the movie, I think I found that stuff intriguing, but what disturbed me was his humor in retrospect. Specifically, Tim Burton's humor. Ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I get it. It's a very weird case where, like, you know, I, I look back and I'm like, wow, I really this at a time where you know I was three years old and I was afraid of people wearing masks for heaven's sakes but that's why I think you're great <laughs> but I loved the movie I guess it's because the way they're made the, the characters are made they're really not that scary true and they're shown as being for the most part they're shown as being friendly Oh yeah. Other than the Oogie Boogie Man. Yeah. There's more to the uh, individuals of Halloween Town. Than... Yeah, and I think it was framing it that way that made it not scary for me. Right. I can appreciate that too. Because I really liked it watching it again uh, as a teenager. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm glad that you enjoyed it when you saw it again, so it was something we could share. Yeah. Because it's kind of a, a thing in my family enjoys. I did outrun this guy, but... <laughs> you didn't get him. Yeah, I missed him by... Ah! I know. He's so unstable on the yes. supercharged road. Oh, I know. That's, that's part of the journey. Yeah. Yes, it can. Otherwise, it could not be challenged. Right. <laughs> Poor Spyro. Hitting his head against the rock. Yeah, I'm surprised this little guy's not concussed. Mm hmm. Mmm, revving up, rev, 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 well, rev, revving, 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 keep those engines revving.
could blow fire <laughs> while charging up. Yeah. Yes. That would extend my uh, So close. So close. Alright. Let's give it another. Yep. Um. <laughs> there we go. I'm trying to. Uh... Right. I know. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Exactly. Yes! Finally! Yay! Kermit. Kermit? And he's not even green. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with that name? <laughs> Yeah, they should be. But it's nice to see them again after two Spyro games. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, how many have we... Or, uh, zero lives. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We're gonna save. Yes, I would say that we're going to save. Yes. Continue. Okay, so good question. Because he already has a former one. Excuse me. Lava slug is but evolving. A, but a, a monster like. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon like. Do we exit? I don't know. Do we have. How many do we have? Good question. Tiki. Oh, there's four of these things. Replace the idle heads. And then question mark. Yeah. It's the idol heads. Hmm. hmm, indeed. It is nice that we can just check like that. It is very So nice. that is something from the second game that I like. Is the, oh, yeah. Is the ability to look at the progress. Yeah. And to keep a nice organized list of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I think doesn't Hal require the most 
brain power to answer. Or... Yeah, uh, arguably one of the most important ones. Yeah. Because when you make a plan, you need to know how you're going to execute it. Exactly. How you fit all the other ones together. Yeah. Of course, why is probably the It is. The why Oof. and the how. Especially when you're writing characters. Yeah. Because if your character, as Sabrina the Teenage Witch taught us, if your characters don't have motivations, they're bored. Yeah. But we knew that all. We do, actually. And we get to see the game <laughs> over screen. Oh, they brought back him trying not to trip. <laughs> they really like that for game overs, don't they? They do. But it makes no sense because Spyro can fly. Yeah. So I don't know why he could be in any danger of Yeah. I mean, yeah, anybody could trip, but he would just be able to fly. <laughs> Unless he was, like, knocked off or something and he, you know, got knocked out. Or was too tired to fly or something. But right. Spyro's not that much of a pushover. No. He really isn't. Yep. Yeah, I'm to the last three minutes. Yeah. Do I go back in? I, I guess. I'm try to find it. But I don't know that we'll find it in three minutes. True. That's the pain of it. Yeah. <sighs> Pardon. It's okay. Rhinox are yeah, running. Rhinox. This and yeah. Eat long. <laughs> yeah, it's apparently. Oh yeah. I kind of don't like. That. And he has a whip. That looked painful. I don't think Spyro is into that kind of stuff. I know he's not. <laughs> Certainly, even if he was not without him. And it hurts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but you oh, know that all Well, some people like it. True. But, <laughs> but anyway, enough of that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just saying, some people. Uh, uh, <laughs> but, you know, yes. I mean, there's nothing wrong. That's but if you don't like it, it's absolutely horrible. Probably another reason he got rid of the whips in the game games is if they were probably right. worried about animal activists. Because it is animal abuse. Yes. Those specific trainers are doing to their Pokemon. Yes. But apparently we found out it was going to be a lot more common initially. Yeah. It was going to be a darker game. Although I feel like black and white maybe had some elements of that. Because the villains in that game were trying to like say, oh, you're imprisoning Pokemon. Pokemon. And, and then they battled you with Pokemon that they had in Pokemon. Right. Um, 
uh, anyway, we're actually out of time. So I guess we'll be heading out. Yeah, so I guess we will head out for now. And thank you guys so much for joining us. Yes. On this new Let's Play. And we hope you're having a blast. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alright guys, so too. we will see you later. Take care everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.